After a bruising four-month inter intermission, the curtain has finally been raised with live theatre making a comeback in Sydney. And there was no better show to mark its glorious return overnight than the multi-award winning Hamilton. There's a saying in showbiz, the show must go on, and now it finally is. After an interval that lasted longer than anyone expected, Australia is opening up and live theatre is back. With 11 Tony Awards and a Grammy, Hamilton is one of the biggest shows in the world. But even it was upstaged by COVID. The Sydney production was shut down for four months, with 133 shows cancelled. Last night came its big return. And a standing ovation months in the making. Jason Arrow, Linda Watson, Alondra Aramia join us now from Hamilton. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, how was it? Back on stage. Did you forget any words? <laughs> um, I, look, I t to be honest with you, I was really worried about it yeah. at first. But um, no, it was amazing last night. The, the audience was so electric. Uh, the second we stepped out on stage, you could just feel um, that everyone was so happy to be there. Um, and theatre's back, so why not? Yeah, yeah, Lyndon, if anyone's heard anything about Hamilton, they know there are a lot of words. Mm -hmm. You didn't forget any in between? <laughs> no, <laughs> thankfully we had some beautiful rehearsals with each other over Zoom that we were able to um, keep it all up in the air and uh, keep it in our body, so thankfully no, no slipped words <laughs> last night. <laughs> Alandra, just how tough has it been in lockdown for the theatre industry? Very tough. You know, as performers, we we need that human connection we need people to to feed off in, in scenes and on stage and stuff so i think like that was hard to be without that for a bit and like you know last night with the audience's reaction i was like oh this is what it is this is what we work for this is what we do and to have that again was just like okay because you've only right just place. started i know and then you're out again <laughs> and then so, like, yeah. and yeah. 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 <laughs> because jason you were actually locked down longer than you were open weren't you how yeah. tough is that to sort of get the momentum and, and and keep it going of a big musical well i mean over time you sort of become you become used to a certain routine um, and then you find what the show requires of you um, during the day especially. Um, so having that sort of stopped midway through that process, um, so about a hundred shows I usually find you start to find your groove and that's when we stopped immediately there. Uh, so now that we're back we're feeling like we have to find that again, that's quite difficult. Yeah. Um, but you know, got to do it. So. A <laughs> hundred, hundred shows to find your groove, does mm -hmm. it really Take yeah, it's, it's honestly like an athlete rhythm? level. Yeah, it's yeah. athlete level um, training. It's uh, fitness, it's diet, it's sleep. All of these things go into us doing a successful show. So like Jason said, yeah, it takes it takes a while. Yeah, how hard is this show? Because it looks from, well, I was at the, <laughs> I was at the opening night and it's astounding. I mean, obviously it's, you know, there's a lot of rap and there's a lot of words, but it looks so intense and it's been played around the world. There's a lot to live up to too, Alana, isn't there? Yeah, there is, but you know, we bring our own flavour to it here in Australia and I think that's what's beautiful. We bring our own essence to it and it, it's just amazing and it's non-stop. Yeah, <laughs> like it's it's yeah, literally non-stop yeah. but it's, it's, it's amazing. And you know, we, we've all binged on streaming during the lockdown <laughs> and big movies on our screens at home but there's nothing like the magic of live, of live theatre is there? Yeah, absolutely. I would agree with that 100%. Uh, being, I mean, you can watch it on Disney Plus, obviously, um, and I have many times. Uh, but there's just something about being there in the room where it happens. Sorry, I had to. Uh, being in the room um, is just amazing. Honestly, there's just this palpitation, this energy, this uh, electricity that you can't you can't do in your own living room. So, yeah. if someone's heard the word Hamilton, they don't really know much about it. Why would you tell them to go and see it? I would say. It's very much a human experience, the whole show. Um, obviously, there's a lot of political stuff in it, and that's that's the nature of the show. But it's at its heart, it's very much yeah. a human story. Um, I don't know, what, what do you guys think? No, totally. It's it's all that sort of aspects. It's the music, you know. So, like people come to the theatre and they are drawn by different parts. You know, for me with Hamilton, it was the music. It, mm. it I'd never heard this kind of music in a Broadway musical, so that's what captured me. Some people, it's the way the show is choreographed, the story mm. that's being told. It all comes together to sort of give you this. Yeah beautiful package.
properties that is Hamilton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're a finance nerd, you'll love it because exactly. Hamilton <laughs> started the research central bank and the monetary system, so it turned into a musical. Who would have thought? <laughs> what a great topic! Right. Yeah. Good on you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hamilton is on at City's Lyric Theatre until February. Uh, the show then moves to Melbourne's Her Majesty's Theatre in March. Mm.